Hi students, I am Dr. Padrinath. Uh, today's topic is uh, inhalers. Inhalers, not Vix inhaler. It is not there in your syllabus. See, inhalers means everybody knows. You have to inhale. Take long breath. You have to inhale. Inhalation. Inhalers. Is that today's topic? They're all inhalers are two types. One is the DPA, dry powder inhalers. And another one is a wet powder inhalers. Don't write such a beautiful knowledge things in the examination. Okay, right. Dry powder inhalers and MDI, metered dose inhalers. It is a today's topic, right? We will see what is this. Uh, very interesting inhalers. Everybody knows regarding uh, tablets, how to prepare uh, tablets, how to prepare the capsules and all. But intelligent students, they will focus on these types of formulations which are hidden, which are not popular, not much popular. Okay, right. right. See, powder inhalers are two types. I have already told you. One is a uh, dry powder inhalers and another one is the MDI, metered dose inhaler. Okay, right. You can see here, why they have given the name metered dose meter means measurement you can measure dose you can measure the dose that's why this is called a metered dose dose we are going to be measured okay how much you have inhaled that and all your everything you can be uh, measure in the mdi metered dose inhaler. whereas this measurement is not possible in the dry powder inhalers how much they have powder inhaled by the patient that we cannot measure. We cannot see. Even patient also do not know how much he has inhaled. So there is no measurement. That's why this is called a metered dose inhaler. Keep in your mind. Here there is no measurement. right? And see the difference. Dry powder inhaler. Here we are inhaling the dry powder. Name itself indicates very clear. Dry powder inhaler. Drug is present. Only drug. There is no excipients at all. Very beautiful formulation. Dry powder inhaler. No excipients, no disintegrants, uh, no, just like tablets, uh, the things disintegrates, uh, binders, uh, a number of things are there. Okay. Uh, here we are not at all using directly drug we are using. Drug is in the form of a pine powder. Maximum we will use a lactose to increase the flow property whenever they will inhale. That's it. No excipients or only one excipient. Here, dry powder we are taking. Here, metered rose inhaler. Either it may be a liquids, like aerosol suspension. Like I will explain you. Let me explain the, see the names are opposite. So you can be fine. This is uh, my mobile app. Uh, Pharmatrix, for example, you can be downloaded from the Google Play Store. So all my presentations are available in the PDF format. It is nothing but a notes. The same thing you can be present in the examination. Definitely you will get a, more than a distinction. After opening the app, uh, go to the store option here. See the pointer at the bottom. See the pointer uh, there. Uh, so if you go to the store option, all courses, uh, notes are available. It's nominal cost. is almost free. Free only. Which everything is free. Uh, only internet charges we are uh, taking. And a playlist. If this is my YouTube channel. Uh, in this YouTube channel, go to the playlist option. Uh, there I have arranged all my videos in a subject wise if you click on this each subject again you will get a topic wise and uh, the topics what we are going to be covering in this video is a formulation of inhalers dry powder and a meter to dose inhalers that we are going to be. see first of all the basic differences you have to be known that is very 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 important if you know these two things the entire concept will come behind you keep in your mind dry powder inhale you have to inhale. There is no such a type of pressing system. Here you can be find a pressing system. The patient has to press and inhale. One side, two works. One is pressing. Another one is the inhale. That coordination is important here. See, pressing, patient has a two works. Pressing as well as the inhalation. See here, hand breathe coordination is necessary here this point see the point here hand breathe coordination is necessary patient has to inhale when he actuate the device by pressing the device by pressing the button here there is no such a type of thing only inhalation type of no no pressing nothing no pressing nothing okay only inhalation so hand breathe coordination is not necessary 
patient can inhale the uh, drug directly, need not to be actuated the device. Okay, that's a basic difference you have to be keep in your mind. See, I have already told you, dry powder inhalers having only the solid particle, name itself in case, dry powder, here you will be get a suspension or solution. Okay, and no propellants are we are using here in the DPI. Here propellants we are using just like aerosol. That is a very big uh, uh, chapter that you can be know. Don't uh, see dose cannot be measured here. That is a basic difference. Here dose can be measured. Here no experience are single only one experience we are using. Here number of experience we are using. Okay, and it requires a deep and slow breathe. Deep, very deep and slow breath. Here, normal breath is enough because it is a pressurized system. Once you pressure, automatically much pressure will be delivered from the device into your mouth. So, normal breath is more than enough. Okay. So, the dose will, so whenever you will activate the disease, dose will be measured by the equipment. Each press 20 ml like that or 1 ml or 2 ml like that one system will be there each pressing the measured quantity will be delivered out of the thing okay that is a very 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 important basic things okay drug flow depends only on the patient's lung capacity here drug flow depends on both lung capacity as well as the pressure of the device okay <clears throat> yeah dry powder inhalers uh, very simple very very simple this is a simple plastic device like this. It looks like this. This is a real picture. You cannot be write this real picture in the examination. You have to be write only this. A backside, it is consists of a powder. You can be placed. All these are the powder and one mesh will be there. It filters the larger particles. Okay. And here inhalation. So simply powder you are keeping here at the backside. You, you have to open this and you have to keep the powder or the capsule, whatever it may be, they will provide the powder directly or they are providing the powder in the form of capsule. That capsule or powder here you have to turn on the device and this side you have to inhale. That's it. There is no actuation of the device. Okay. So here you can see the definition. It is a device that delivers the medication to the lungs in the form of a dry powder. Name itself called as a dry powder. It is a breath activated device. Breathe. Whenever you will put a breath, you will take a breath, then only the device will be activated, not pressuring, not pressing activated. Pressing activated means meter to dose. Okay. That fluid is a, it, it become a fluid. So your powder will become a fluid in the air. Powder particles are, will be suspended in the air, just like a dust. Dust is nothing but fluid, solid particles only suspended in the air. So it will become mobilization. That's why we are calling it as a fluid. Fluid means not liquid here. Okay, right. So fluid, it contains a solid drug in the dry powder mix and get fluidized during the inhalation. Drug particle size should be less than five microns. Very, very important. Uh, there is uh, no excipients. They're typically formulated as a one phase only. Okay, only one phase. That is also solid particle blends. Maximum, we are using only one excipient, lactose, to as a carrier powder, as a uh, carrier as a carrier only one expand that also to increase the flow property of that uh, it needs some procedure to allow the measured dose because if suppose a patient inhales less air less inhalation only less amount of the drug will be so we cannot measure here if patient is taking a long breath entire powder will be entered okay so uh, carrier powder increases the flow properties. Very, very important to be. Why we are using a lactose with a dry powder inhaler. Worldwide accepted, widely used for the uh, diabetes and the insulin also nowadays. Insulin. Okay. Insulin. Diabetic patient, they are taking a insulin through the inhalers. That's a wonderful thing. Yeah. Now dry powder inhalers in the market are present or in the capsule only. The capsule may be considered yeah, a 50 mg or 100 mg of the medication. So the capsule will be break down whenever you will press this uh, system and the powder will be released in the capsule. Then you have to inhale. You can inhale the entire powder or you can inhale the small. That depends upon your patient's lung capacity. That's why here we cannot measure. We cannot be able to tell exactly how much powder is entered into the lung. These points are very important. You have to be right in the examination procedure to take the dry powder inhaler. So here you have number one, first you have to take the capsule, that capsule, dry powder capsule, 
you have to place it in the device place the powder containing device capsule in a device next is press the system or turn it pressing or turn it both are, that depends upon the manufacturer either you have to be presses that you have to be turn it so that capsule will be break capsule breaks and the powder released into in the device now breathe out first keep the device away breathe out then you have to keep it breathe in deeply through the inhaler deeply hold it for a 10 second hold it so drug will be there in your lungs now breathe out slowly flat out so if you are taking a uh, breathing inhale and holding for a longer time you will become die the patient will die okay if you are inhaling and holding a breath for a more than a uh, 20 minutes or 30 minutes so breathe out slowly close the inhaler this procedure same steps you have to be right in the examination very very important and two types are there dry powder inhalers one is a single unit dose see here single unit dose that's it dose you have to be place it manually only one dose will be there that you have to be inhale and another time tomorrow again you have to open the device you have to place the capsule okay and you have to be inhale like that daily one capsule single unit at a time but here multi dose device number of doses are there inside a device man inside a device but but whenever you will inhale only only one capsule powder will be entered that is called a multi dose multi unit dose here 1 2 3 4 4 four capsules are there here but whenever you will inhale only one capsule powder will enter another type also available in multi dose see here multi dose reservoir type here what happened entire all drug particles are there but whenever you will inhale only the measured quantity will be entered only a small not measured quantity small quantity will be entered okay entire quantity will not this is called a multi dose reservoir here we cannot measure that point you have to be keep in your mind and uh, excipients no excipients in this that is a speciality of that and you can see the advantages and disadvantages of the dpi it is a propellant free no or very less excipients less formulation problems nothing only dry powder that's it as easy of handling less need of the patient coordination patient coordination hand breath coordination not at all required here drug particle surfaces are uh, having at low energy that results in the high stability very very important high stability low chemical degradation both are opposite higher the stability lower the degradation higher the degradation lesser the stability okay wide range of doses can be administered number of and the drug flow rate depends upon the disadvantages patient breath capacity it is not like aerosol humidity cause is a problem here if atmosphere is having a moisture that moisture will go and it may uh, hydrolyze the drug so your drug forms a lumps so that lump cannot be enter as such into your lung that is a main problem problem of a lump 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 or you can call it as a clump okay device resistance will be there design issues are there okay dose drug cannot be measured that is very very important problem in the dose uniformity first time uh, how much you, we don't know second time we don't know how much so dose uniformity may not be there okay and it is very expensive than the pressurized uh, mdi and worldwide it is acceptance is less and meter dose inhaler see here meter chamber is a very very important whenever the patient will actuate this device here pressing by pressing propellants are here you can see liquid phase formulation there is no dry powder it is a gaseous gas it consists of a gas it consists of a can okay it is a retaining cap will be there actuator this is a, this is called is a actuator you have to be press it metered chamber see here metered chamber that uh, meter uh, dose will be measured in the device itself then only it will be delivered after measurement only the dose will be delivered into the lungs that point is very very important here high velocity spray it comes so less breath also enough okay is enough normal inhalation is more than enough for these type of devices because support is there and this all this uh, you have to be right in the examination okay uh, inhaler this is a inhaler you have to be actuate here spacer is available here spacer you have to be put Uh, and you have to cap will be there so this is how to take inhaler spacer so spacer they will keep here uh, inhalation that is the inhaler will be there the patient has to actuate this 
okay so this is a system how to attach the spacer all these things you must write in the examination all these points okay spacer you have to write in the examination it, it is giving us some space why it is called as a spacer it is a space we are giving a space between the inhaler and your mouth that's why we are calling as a cage okay it avoids accidentally uh, entry of all the drugs whenever device is filled okay slowly breathe out you have to hold it here also 10 seconds and slowly breathe out and the advantages and disadvantages are there here because it is a pressurized system a flammable propellants uh, may be a problem we know that all propellants most of the propellants are having a flammable property okay so you have to be select in proper way so it is not for external purpose propellants we are using for the internal purpose here just not like a centaur spray in scent bottle spray bottle they are using propellant that is for external purpose this here propellants are for the internal purpose you have to wise it very choosely so these are the advantages it delivers the specified amount inexpensive when compared to dpi and nebulizers uh, multi dose capacity capability is also there more than 100 doses are available okay a low risk of bacterial contamination that is also one of the big advantage here uh, disadvantages is uh, uh, flammability delivers the high dose may be difficult okay and, uh, and the patient needs the coordination actuation of a dose and inhalation is essential so you can be uh, see my details what uh, my youtube channel as well as the app okay you can be follow the instructions right 